I want to talk about ATP. And I want to make sure we're clear about what ATP actually is. So when we say ATP in the Microsoft world, um, there could actually be different meanings of it because we have actually four ATP products. So in this context, when it comes to email phishing, I'm going to talk about Office 365 ATP, Advanced Threat Protection for Office 365. And what this allows me to do is a few different things. The first one is what we call safe attachments. So I'm going to hover my cursor over that. Let me explain that. And then I'll show you a demo of this. Safe attachments allows me to scan, if you will, every attachment that comes into an email, into my environment. And when I scan that attachment, I'm actually executing it in a sandbox, and I'll explain more in a minute. And when I execute that attachment, it's running it, just as a normal end user would, but in a safe, secured environment. And it's checking to see if that's a malicious attachment. Does it have malicious code? Does it have macros and that kind of thing? Does it contain malware? And if any of that's true, it actually strips the attachment out of the email message and never delivers it. It delivers a message, but not the attachment. Why is that important? Well, that now gives a user the opportunity to still receive the email message, but it never gives them the opportunity to actually click on the attachment, thus introducing a risk to your environment. And so when, when I buy ATP in Office 365, or if I have Office 365 and I've already purchased ATP, um, I have to come in here and enable this, this policy. And so when I enable safe attachments, there's a little bit of configuration here I have to do. But one thing I want to call out, though, is this is not just for email. ATP in Office 365 is also for SharePoint, OneDrive, and Microsoft Teams. And what that means is anytime I upload a file to SharePoint, OneDrive, or Microsoft Teams, it does the same thing as it would in an email. I upload the file to something like OneDrive. It's going to scan that file, detonate it as we would call it. And if it finds that file to be malicious, it strips it out and notifies the admin and, uh, and all is good. It never gives the user the opportunity to download and open that file. That could be really important, especially if you have guests coming into your environment, maybe contractors or a marketing agency, and they get access to SharePoint OneDriver teams. Look, you don't know who those people are. They could be uploading malicious files to your environment. Maybe one of their accounts got compromised. And there's actual attacker on the other end uploading files to your environment um, and then trying to compromise you. So this is where the value of ATP really comes into play. It's not just for email, but it's also for these other products. So rather than talking about, it, let me show you what this what this is here. So this is my demo environment. Um, so all of this is fake. This is not a, a real person, but uh, just kind of play along with me here for a moment. Here I have an email. Uh, Patty is my CEO. And so this is a case where Patty was actually spoofed. Maybe uh, this is an environment we don't have DKIM set up. We don't have some other policies set up. So Patty, she's the CEO. She got spoofed. And if I expand her contact card here, it's got Patty's photo, it's got Patty's email address, it's coming from Patty, um, but it's not really Patty. And here we have a message that says, I need to get the funds for the weekend event ASAP. Can you please have accounting wire transfer three grand? Well, it also included an attachment, but check out the file name here. It says unsafe attachments are blocked. And when I open that, look what I have here. It says your attachments were found to be unsafe. And there is the name of the attachment. And I could see a little bit of information here that, about how ATP uh, found them to be unsafe and protected me. So immediately, I know that this probably is not Patty because there is a malicious attachment that's been stripped out. And I never have the ability to actually click on the attachment and run it. You know, as we know, end users, um, they're in a hurry. They will just click on the attachment, especially if it's coming from Patty, your boss. And you may not think twice. And so this actually removes that capability from the user and it kind of protects them against themselves, if you will. And so here it is, it just is stripped out. That's, that's ATP safe attachments. Now, if we take this a step further, what about a link, a phishing link in that message? So here's an attacker spoofing Patty, the CEO. Hi, Megan, can you please fill out this form? And this form is hyperlinked and ask others to do the same to register for the weekend's event. Well, again, I'm an end user. I'm in a hurry. It's coming from my boss. I need to get this done, right? It's got Patty's photo. It's got her email address when I expand this, right? It looks, it looks legit. It's even got her office phone number and room location. So I'm going to click on the link. 
Now notice when I hover over the link, it's not the actual website here. It's actually pointed to a different URL. I'll explain why here in a minute, but let's click on the link and check it out. I was stopped in my tracks and it said that this website's malicious. I cannot even continue on to that website. So immediately it stops me in my tracks and protects me from myself, if you will. I get this big red bar here flashing that says it's been classified as malicious. Now, I could add a policy here that allows you to continue onto the website, but of course, do so at your own risks. Now, what's happening here in the background is that URL in the email, it's actually being rewritten. And so here I can see how it's being pointed to something like safelinks.protection.outlook.com. And so when I click on that URL, it's being redirected to a Microsoft data center where they're scanning that URL and doing some other things in the back end to check to whether or not to check to see whether or not it's it's legitimate or it contains malicious code or it's a phishing website, so on and so forth. So when we think about basic protections from something like email phishing, ATP safe attachments and ATP safe links is huge. Um, I mean, if you could imagine implementing something like this, nothing's 100% secure. You're never gonna get to a 100% secure environment in a secure state, but this could probably bring you you know, most of the way there, right? Maybe 70%, 80%. It's going to catch the low hanging fruit, right? It's going to catch the stuff that, um, you know, that, that we know about and that has been coming in. Mm -hmm.